Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here, bringing you another episode of Minecraft Exoria. Today's episode, we are going to get into life infusion. Alright, infusing life. In one of those books, I read of a way to bring dead animals back to life. That sounds not really realistic, but if this life infusing really works, I am in much better shape. I will start and try that on dead fish. So we're going to need runestone, chiseled runestone, runestone bricks. We're going to need three of the tiny item inputs. One tiny item output and a machine controller. Now I already have one of these, one of these, and one of these from when I did the to be or not to be quest. Alright, so I only have to make two more of the tiny inputs. But I'm also going to go ahead and make some of the other ones. All right, do I have the chests in my backpack? Come on, scroll wheel doesn't like to work. All right, so we're gonna go one, two, three, like this, one, two, three, and these are small item inputs. All right, we need one output. All right, and I said I needed two of the tiny ones, so they take this type of chest. All right, there we go. So that is complete. Now the next part, we need cactus needle, sandstone infusion stone, bucket with cod, bucket with salmon, bucket with clownfish, bucket with puffer fish. All right. So we can go ahead and build this now. Let's see. I should have the runestone in here. And we need to craft, what was it? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you know what? We already have those. So we just need the bricks. So let's go ahead and throw all these things up here. Put our pick down here. All right. So we are going to, I already marked the area out, so we're gonna put the controller right here. And if we look, I tried putting this inside here and it doesn't show it out here or anything. There may be a way to toggle it, but I haven't found anything. All right, so if we look at it, you can see, let's see, it's going to be bricks, output, bricks. All right, so let's go ahead and go bricks, output, bricks. Then it's going to be smooth, 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 and smooth. Smooth, let's see, can I hop up here? Yes, I can. So it's going to be like this. Now, I'm hoping it should still recognize the structure even if I put blocks above it. Oops. There we go. Archaic lamps. So I have enough room. Hmm. I actually have more than I thought I had. So let's jump up here. And let's put these on here. I thought I only had one space above this. So I'm going to do this, and you can see it's a little bit dark. I'm going to put these archaic lights up here. They just look really, really cool. I need to put the chiseled one on top. All right, and then one of the lanterns. Now if I shift and mine, there we go. All right, and then what we're going to do is, what, three inputs? Let me double check that no capstone on this one. All right, so it's gonna go one, two, three, and it's going to complete. All right. Let's see, grab that in my hot bar. Come on. I just want this to look nice. There we go. So shift while I mine, and there we go. This is now set up. All right, so now the next step. We are gonna make sandstone, uh, what is it called? You take sandstone and you take cactus needle. I'm gonna show you how to get those in a second. But we can now take this, and in here we can go this, a bucket, and we're gonna need one of each of the fish. All right, so what I'm curious is, can I do this, and then in this one go like this, and then in this one go like this, will it still function? All right, so it's starting to work. All right, so to get the cactus needle, you need a cactus, 
and an empty hand. Now you're going to shift and then right click and you're going to get a cactus needle. So then what I do is I throw it up here in my inventory and then just hold down like this and you get tons of these things. They're super easy to get and the only thing they're really used for cactus fruit on a needle but you mainly use them for the infusion stones. All right. So let's go ahead. One of the next things that we're going to have to make, and it's not showing it here. All right, let's double check this before we go anywhere. Buckets. Oh, never mind. I got them here. All right, so we are going to make some fish tanks. All right, fish tank. Swap this out and fish tank. There we go. So I don't have this yet. This is going to be for this quest. And hopefully we can get through this tonight. Pretty much the fish and animals are all the same. The output will be in here once we actually get it. They take quite a while. All right. Oh, nether wart. I started some nether wart. So I'm going to talk a little bit while that's going. All right. I got nether wart. I had to get a blaze rod and then use it in the mana pool with the transmutation or the alchemy catalyst underneath it. All right, and I got one nether wart from that. Then I planted that, and I used my watering can on it. The watering can does work. And then I went from there, and now I have a 5x5 five five farm. All right, so it finished one, and it's going on to do the next one. That is cool. Now, what I'm wondering is, what happens... Ooh, you know what? This could be a really bad thing. Whoa. Okay, those do not stack. That's not a good thing. All right, so which one do I have? Bucket of Clownfish. Now let's look. 21%. Now if I take these out, okay, good. It's still going. I was afraid that it might um, just keep making Clownfish, and right now I only want one. All right, so what are some of the other things that we're going to make? Do I have wood planks? I never have what I need. All right, so that's going. Yeah, we can run down here. All right. So many things to do, so little time. All right, so I got sticks. Let's look, and I want an item that is called a feeding trough. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to get one of these. And this is going to be useful once we get animals. And I'm going to go ahead and show this even though I don't have animals right now. Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to be able to show you how it works because you need animals for that. All right, somebody told me you can put carpet on top of fences and you can step over, but the animals shouldn't. I don't know whether or not that's true. I'm going to find out. All right, so just put this like in the middle of your pen. It's one of those blocks you place it down. It's really only one block, but it takes up two blocks. All right, then you're going to take wheat and right click on this. And it will hold a full stack of wheat. Now what this will do is it'll automatically breed the animals in the area. So I can make, say, two cows and put them in here and AFK all night and come back to, like, a whole bunch of cows. Should be like, what, 32 cows or something like that? Well, if I start with two, it'd be like 34, but you get the picture. All right, so it is another clownfish in a bucket. Are you kidding me? Let's see. I only want one cod and one salmon, and I'm going to need a puffer fish. One puffer fish. We're going to need some buckets. Some sandstone thingies. Put those in there. Empty buckets in here. And wait, it's already doing a cod, I believe. Yep. All right, so that's processing. So let's go ahead and set up the fish tank. So with fish tanks, these connect. They are multi-block structures. Now you can do them like this, you know, flat, which would be easier to get in here and breed the fish, or you can actually set them up like this. Oops. 
All right, now see, this still connects. It's really weird the way they work. Come on. Okay, just break it like that. All right, now when you have your bucket with the fish in it, you can right click and put it in here. So now if I put the other clownfish in here, uh-oh, where'd you go? Uh-oh. Did I accidentally put him out on the ground or what? Oh, there they are. Wow. Okay, you can take seeds, right-click on them like this, and then they will breed, and you can breed fish now. Why you would want to, I have no idea. You have no idea how many fish I have from the strainers over there. It's just way too many. All right, bucket with cod. And this one is going. Wow, it's going to take a while to complete this quest. All right, so we just need salmon and puffer fish. And then after that is the tank things. I'm not sure after that. Now, I'm wondering, should I show this in this episode or should I wait? I figured something out. I was reading some information online and somebody said something and I was like, oh wow, that sounds like a really good idea. So let's see. All right, I've been working on bee breeding and I was like, okay, eggs are expensive to make and you need those to make the animals. So I was like, oh, well, I need a faster way to make them. So let's go up to the bee farm. All right, and we'll do it right here in this area. I have several things. All right, I'm getting a couple diamond chests, some apiary chests, overgrowth. Um, these things are hyvacinth, I think is how it's pronounced. All right, and an everlasting mana pool. So I'm gonna clear this area. These are all flowers that have grown here because of the bees. All right, and I'm going to put down, whoops, four overgrowth seeds. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put down some of these chests. Let's see, like this, and I'm also gonna do diamond chests because I'm gonna just put them in here and then sort them here. All right, you're gonna put the everlasting pool here and you're gonna take these and put them down. Now the reason they're on enchanted soil is because they will work twice as fast. All right, check this out. I just got a sorceress drone. Ooh, and what's this? Ooh, and this and this and this. These things produce drones using mana. I mean, not just drones, they produce bees. You get like princesses and drones and they are pristine stock so they won't die off all right and these will just keep producing and keep producing and keep producing because this is an everlasting mana pool all right so you literally have freebies and no pun intended freebies that will last forever so this is just a great way because one of the things you can do is, let's see, egg. If I want to make eggs, right here, the recipe, I can get them from poultry, or no, this. Meadows and forest can give me this queen, and this queen can make eggs, 10% chance. All right, so this is a way to get infinite bees like if you're working later on and you need bees to smelt down for the dna and stuff like don't even bother just making the drones just put a vacuum hopper here and you will have tons of bees just it's insane i actually did a test world because i wanted to check them out and see what types they drop and i did eight of them around one of these pools and it was like way more than the vacuum could handle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break these. And I'll show you the recipe for those because I forgot to. 
uh, let's see, grab these. Now the recipe for these, let's see, there we go. You're gonna need redstone for the redstone root, but I just use glowstone to get the mana powder. I think you can use um, gunpowder and any of the floral dyes, I believe. Then you're gonna need a mystical blue petal, two cyan, and one light blue. Now, I messed up. I had three cyan in here and couldn't figure out why it wasn't working and then finally figured it out. And the redstone root is going to be grass and redstone. And that is how you make those. So yeah, you can get free bees for life, no cost whatsoever. All right, so let's go... Where were we? Home portal. All right, and these fish should be done. Um, where's my puffer fish? Wow. I really wanted this to be done. So yeah, same process, except you're going to get a spawn egg when you make the animals and stuff. So yeah, what I'm going to do is, I think, make two cows, put them in here, and get tons of cows. I may put a few more feeding troughs in here. And that way, when I come back in the morning, odds are that if I spawn a hundred cows, hopefully one of them will have a good totem on it. And then I can totem farm because I want night vision because it will neutralize the guru and I won't have to worry about them anymore. Because one of the problems I'm running into is I'm lighting up areas so the guru doesn't spawn, but then mobs don't spawn either. So I'm limited in my mob farming, so I want to get around that. All right, I believe that's going to do it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, tell a friend, leave a like, and until next time, this is Caddy Wampus Gamer signing off.